안녕하세요. I hope I had the proper action to say hello everyone and welcome to the review of today. We are going to talk about the 2019 Cannes Film Festival winner, La Palme d'Or, the movie Parasite by the director, the current director, Jun Ho Bong. And in the review of today, we are going to see the story, the characters, the actors, the surrounding, the build-up of the movie. And at the end of the review, stay with us. We are going to rank the review of today. I'm Mark. Let's get started. Please turn off your cell phones. Ah. The story is about the Kitek family, a poor family from Korea featuring four characters, the mother, the father, the daughter and the son. And they will cross the path from the Parks family, who is actually a much wealthier family than what they are, actually totally on the opposite of the, on the social scale, and they will try to make the most of the situation. The point is, as you may guess, they will have an unexpected element that will trouble the plan they set up. What I really liked is that for all the characters of the movie, all the Park, all the Kitex family, is that you you don't step directly into the flip side of their personality. You get acquainted with them first so that you understand how, uh, what, what is the buildup of their personality until the point they reach in the movie. And I really liked it because uh, at some point for any of the actions of any characters, you don't say, you don't tell yourself anymore it's good or it's bad, but you are more telling yourself like uh, you understand why they do this and uh, you get attached to them. I really like the cast of the movie because each one of the characters have their own feature and they make it really simple to play. But it's not that their character is easy to play, it's more like the performance of the actor is really nice. And uh, there are two characters specifically that I really liked. The first one is the, the father, uh, the father of the poor family, uh, Kang Ho Song. Yes, <laughs> he, he was back in 2003 already in a movie from the director, uh, the movie called uh, Memories of Murder. And uh, he, he really, you really need to read between the lines to understand the emotion he conveys. And it's the same, uh, it's actually more or less the same for all the characters, like, uh, uh, and this is what makes the movie being interesting, that they don't specifically say everything they feel, but you have to really read between the lines, and I really liked it. And the second character that I really liked in the movie is the mother of the Parks family, played by the actress Jao Young Jo. She is actually an actress that is a bit controversial in Korea for, for the characters she played in, the, in her previous movies. But what I liked about her, and it's the definition, the, the definition of her, the way she plays, uh, it's like she likes to, to, to get to the struggle of the character she plays. And, uh, and so as the, 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 as the character of the father, she is on the same page. You have to read between the lines to really feel what she feels from the inside. And I liked it. It's like for the whole characters of the movie, it's the same. And uh, that's what makes, that what's, that's one of the points that makes the movie being really interesting. There is one bond that I really liked is the bond between the Kitek family and especially uh, the son and the daughter, like sister and, and brother. They, they, they make it, you, you get attached to them, as I said, for, for the whole characters. Like it's all the same for them and even better when you feel the chemistry between the siblings. And, uh, and what I liked is that when you, come to, when you come to see the flip side of them, you, you don't feel any anger anymore. You just understand what they are doing. And, uh, and this is what I feel really interesting in the movie. And it's again, one of the side that has been nailed by the director and the actors as well. It's all the chemistry between all of them that, that, that came to perfection. I liked it. Actually, the movie was supposed first to be a science fiction movie, but I'm really happy that the director decided to make it a realistic angle on Korean society. It makes it being a, a really down-to-earth movie. What we see, and it's an insight that we have from the director that I really appreciated, because actually it's a way to, uh, 
to feel, hey, these, those things could happen actually. When you can relate yourself to what happened in the movie, you get involved even more. And that's exactly what happened in this movie. The build-up of the movie is done so efficiently, like you get attached to them, you get attached to each character really quickly. It makes you being even more involved in the story, even more involved in the angle the, the director is taking. And uh, that's that's that is in a sense really troubling, it's, re it's really disturbing in a way, but uh, that's what I really liked about the movie. And even in the way they shot, like the angles are really simple, but really efficient. You, you always see what you need to see to, to understand the, the story, to understand the movie, to understand his environment. And uh, there is nothing uh, more or less than what you need. And, uh, and it's, it, the setup of the movie is, is really awesome, like simple but efficient. This is how, we'll de this is how I would define it. In movies, usually you have many locations. You can't map really where the, the movie is, but there, as it goes quickly into a, a specific location, you can map all the all the, the locations like really easily and add another dimension into your into your mind. It builds up the story even more, and I really appreciated it. So the ranking of today with the new review is in third position. We have now Spider-Man Far From Home, so it means Avenger is now in fourth position. In second position, we have Fighting With My Family. And yes, we have now in first position the 2019 Cannes Film Festival winner, La Palme d'Or, Parasite. So as you can see, the full review has now a bit changed with the review of today. And now for the flop movies, the ranking hasn't changed. We still have Pokemon Detective Pikachu in third position. In fourth position, Anna. In second position, we have Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And remaining for weeks now, we still have in first position, X-Men Dark Phoenix. Now you know how deep I like to dig in the movie so that now if you like the video, you can thumb up and even better, you could subscribe to the channel. The best option remains to ring the bell so that you get notification and will not miss any video that will be released on the channel. On my side, I still have one more thing to say is that you may share my opinion about the movies. You may not share my opinion about it. It doesn't matter, don't worry. The point is that you make up your own mind and go to watch one of these movies, maybe all of them, even better. And for me, I tell you, see you in the next review. Watch out for the movies. Bye bye. Ah. You can turn on your cell phones. <laughs>